You do not have to support Pride. That's right. You heard me correctly. You personally do not have to support Pride. And it's fine. It's okay. I can tell you now, most queer people would just say, okay, cool, and move on with their day. You do not personally have to support Pride. And it's absolutely fine. I know that's hard to believe. For a lot of people here, especially Melanie Mac supporters, I don't think anyone cares whether or not you put rainbows in your profile, whether or not you retweet stuff from companies and businesses, or you're out there, you know, going to drag shows, going to pride events. I don't think most people care about that. I know I don't. And I don't think anyone I know cares about that stuff. So it's a little weird when someone like Melanie Mac, who there, there was no reality where Melanie Mack was going to support Pride. It wasn't going to happen. If you're a fan of Melanie Mack, you knew already, you knew from the jump that she was not going to support Pride. So it's absolutely redundant. It's it's uh, obviously clout chasing here for her to make a video, a 12-minute video explaining why she's not supporting Pride. We already know. We already know, Melanie. You don't have to do a 12-minute video telling us why. We get it. There was no plan B. There was no reality where Melanie Mack was going to support Pride. And just like with many people in Melanie Mack's space, we're going to watch this video. Get ready. Get your popcorn ready. We're going to go through the whole thing. A lot of people in Melanie Mack's space want to have you believe that, that Pride as an event is being forced upon them. Even though you can go on social media, you can block words, you can block organizations, you can literally black out pride from your social media presence. You can do that because Melanie Mack would tell you in a video she made previously where a woman was complaining about being harassed in, in gaming lobbies, you can just mute people. You can block them. That's what that feature is there for. Well, Melanie, I would implore you to do the same thing to people that are uh, doing the pride stuff. It's that simple. Just block them right? But you're not going to do that because you need to be a victim in all of this. You need to be a victim because you think one month where the government recognizes queer people officially is somehow persecuting you. Even though non-Christians have to deal with Christmas for two months of the year, sometimes three, depending on place to start, where we are forced to listen to Christmas music against our will. If we go shopping somewhere in the grocery store, go to a restaurant, go to a gas station, most likely for at least two, maybe three months of the year, we're going to have to listen to Christmas music, whether we are Christian or not. You would say that if we don't tell you Merry Christmas, there is a war on Christmas if we say Happy Holidays. So is this Melanie Mack waging war on Pride Month? I don't make the rules. I just ask questions here. So here's the deal. Melanie Mack made this 12-minute video, and this is going to be so much fun to go through and debunk and dismantle every single dumb thing that she says in this video. And I can promise you, I can do that without ever once calling her homophobic. I can do that. I can go through this whole video and dismantle her entire argument without saying that she is being homophobic. Because we already know that she is. <laughs> so we don't we don't have to say it. Uh, but there's a lot of really, really, really bad double standards and hypocrisy in this video. And I can tell you right now, you definitely want to grab some popcorn. You definitely want to grab something to drink because this might be a longer video. Uh, and if you go on to enjoy the video, I'm going to get this out of the way right now. If you go on to enjoy this video, and I can promise you, I can promise you, unless you're a Melanie Mac simp, you will enjoy this video. Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts on this. Leave a like or dislike, whichever feels good to you. All right, let's watch this video with Melanie and how she is absolutely indulgent in this fictional world where she is oppressed as a heterosexual person because of pride month so i've tried recording this like two or three times and mm -hmm. the power has continued to go out because of the texas storms and i'm not gonna let that stop me i am going to upload this video anyway so pride month is among us and mm -hmm. once again i will be saying no i will not be celebrating this degeneracy and this evil from satan call me crazy i Ooh. don't care that Okay, I'm going to call you crazy. I want to say this. Uh, you could have stopped the video there, really. I mean, you said everything you had to say. This could have been a post on Twitter. You could you could have made a short. It's actually a lot shorter than a short. Um, but you start out calling gay people and queer people degenerates. So you've already established where you stand for anybody that may be stumbling and tripping face first into this video. Um, so we, we know there that she considers Pride Month to be full of degeneracy um, even though just a few years ago, Melanie Mack was a huge supporter of queer people. So it's almost like this is done for clout 
and grifting. Almost. But I could be wrong. That's exactly what it is. And everyone is just like, oh, well, why don't you just mind your own business? Mm -hmm. But look what happened when we tried minding our own business. They infiltrated mm -hmm. everything. I made a tweet about this the other day, which I can highlight on the screen here. Okay, let's look at this tweet. By the way, I want to say this is interesting. So she's actually giving a little bit of fuel to what I do and what so many other people do. The reason why we speak out against Melanie Mack and so many people that make content like this is because we have ignored them for a very long time and they are persistent, very persistent in the way they do things. They did not go away. And so we have to speak out against them. So she's actually explaining why we do what we do over here, because I get that question quite often. Why don't you just ignore them? Why don't they just ignore the shit they don't like? Right? So there you go. Um, celebrate us, represent us in every form of media. Let us infiltrate classrooms and recruit your children. Let us buy babies. Let us mutilate people. Let us hijack female spaces. So as you can see, this is not simply saying no to Pride Month. This is spewing propaganda and false narratives and lies. Um, represent us in every form of media. Yeah, I've talked to people before and I've said, like, name five popular movies or TV shows where queer people have basically taken over the, the full show, the full movie and ruined it. And they never can answer the question. Let us infiltrate classrooms and recruit your children. That's not happening. Uh, let us buy babies. Well, anyone who uh, is looking to have a kid, uh, whether it be straight couples, gay couples, whatever, um, can easily go out there and adopt children. Are you saying that adopting children or having surrogacy, there's something wrong with that? Uh, because here's the deal. A lot of gay people are picking up the slack for a bunch of straight people that don't want their kids or can't get anything done. I'm, I'm not going to say the A word uh, because YouTube will smack me down for that, but can't do anything in terms of like mitigation for pregnancy because you and so many people like you will not let them. So there's a lot of babies out there floating around in the system that do not have families. So thank goodness that there are people out there willing to go in and adopt and foster children. Um, more on that in a minute. I have more to say ab about that when she gets to it. Uh, let us mutilate people. No, they people can do what they want with their own bodies. You're acting like there's some effort out there from doctors to do that to other people, which there is none. You cannot prove a case of where a doctor did something against someone's will to them to quote unquote, mutilate them. Uh, let us hijack female spaces and just throw out the transphobia as well. Uh, no one is hijacking women spaces. Uh, use female because that word differentiates from women, which you know that, but then you want to say that, that uh, you know, sex and gender are the same thing uh, when you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, why don't you just leave us alone? We're just trying to mind our own business. Yeah, we are, but we're also fighting for rights against people like you who are making videos like this uh, because you won't, you won't leave us alone. And you've made it pretty much uh, a entire bit of your, like your personality is Melanie Mac Christian. That's pretty much what you are. Um, when it comes to stuff like this. But I made a tweet about this where this alphabet mafia has said, wait, you have to celebrate us. You have to accept us. Then show that tweet. Show it. If, if people were telling you that, then show that on screen. You clearly have the capability of doing that. If someone was telling you to do that, then show that on screen or stop lying. Us. You have to affirm us. You have to let us infiltrate your schools and recruit your children. Mm. You have to let us infiltrate female spaces. Mm. I could sit here and show, and maybe I will, maybe I'll do a video on this at some point, um, how recruiting children is a very big pastime of Christian people. There's no shortage of Christian people trying to recruit children for the stuff that you assume queer people are doing. But I digress. Let's continue. You have to let us buy babies, this, that, and the other. The goalposts keep shifting. It's not so much of, okay, do whatever you want. You don't need money. No, the goalpost doesn't shift. Equality. That is that is the goalpost. That is what we're looking for. If straight people can adopt babies, then gay people should be able to adopt babies. That Like, what is the, what are you talking about? 
my approval, it has become this, wait a minute, you have to celebrate everything about us and our kink because that's what it is. It's kink. It is not natural. It is not of God. This natural argument is so stupid. Are you sitting in the forest in a hut built of branches and leaves, eating berries and gathering food from the forest? and making a campfire with your bare hands, living in like shrubbery and hunting animals with spears and bows? No, you were sitting in a room full of unnatural stuff. You're wearing makeup. You have dyed your hair. You're wearing jewelry. You have tattoos. You've got your nails painted. You're using a camera. You're using a computer. These are all unnatural things. This fallacy that your community keeps pushing is that something has to be natural to be okay. Yet you are sitting here in a room full of unnatural stuff. You are communicating to us through something that is not natural. So that argument is dumb. God's creation, and it's, it's not, it doesn't further humanity or society. Right, because you're doing that. Oh, no, wait, you're almost 40 years old. You're not married. You have no children, and you're divorced. So what are you doing to further humanity? Have you adopted a child? Have you fostered a child? No. So why are you telling other people they cannot? You're not willing to take that burden upon yourself. You're not out there being a trad wife for somebody. You're a girl boss. When you were talking to the quartering, you talked about how you were girl bossing and how tough it is to be a girl boss. So tell me, Melanie, why are you almost 40 years old, basically an old maiden, if we're going to talk about traditional stuff, trad wife stuff, you're basically an old maiden. You're not married. You have no kids. You are not doing anything to further humanity. So why are you not out there doing that? What's the reason? So it is kink. That's exactly what it is. And we're supposed to celebrate it. And if we don't, and if we speak out against it, we risk our livelihoods. We risk losing our jobs. And so many people. Oh, you're so stunning and brave, but you're sitting here doing it. You're sitting here doing it. If you were forbidden from doing this, you'd not be able to make this video and say what you're saying. But it's so stunning and brave, right? It's so powerful. You're saying all this because you have the support and the privilege of the community that you've aligned yourself with. People have lost their jobs and I am sick and tired of this. I have been sick and tired of this. So mm. this Pride Month, don't let people bully you into having to affirm it and accept it and be told you're a show us the receipts who is asking you to do that there's a complete difference from reality and and how you feel if you feel like companies and people that you know are showing allyship and somehow you think that means that you have to do it as well you are projecting you're taking that upon yourself who is who has asked you to support pride month who in their right mind has asked Melanie Mack to support Pride Month? Who's done that? I, I can't imagine anybody would actually believe that you would be receptive to supporting Pride Month. So that's cap. It's a lie. A bigot if you don't, because that's the thing is they shouldn't have to force us to accept. They're not for the fact that you're saying no to it means that you're not being forced. That's literally not being forced. The fact that you have chosen to say no to Pride Month means that no one has forced you to do anything, Melanie. Their activities, okay? What they do with their b-holes. We have to accept it and celebrate it? Seriously? Oh, so, you, so you're thinking like, oh, gay person, this is what they do with their b-holes, as you said. So does that mean when we have to see weddings and straight people together, we have to imagine what's going into their v-holes? Like with you, oh, you're straight. So like reductively, it's what it's about what goes into your V-hole, right? Because you just said it's about what goes into to our B-holes. So that's the way we view people. So when you get married or you have any sort of event celebrating your love, Valentine's Day, whatever, immediately we have to just imagine what goes inside of you because that's that's what we're talking about here, right? Okay. Have we really gotten to that point? And that's because they have created an identity out of it. But it is not an identity. What you do in the bedroom. She's done this before. I don't think I released a video where I talked about this. Maybe I did. How can someone create an identity, but it's also not an identity? Do you know how fucking stupid that sounds? That sounds really dumb. If you're arguing that somebody's entire identity is about them being gay, which is what you've said in the past, then you can't turn around and be like, but it's not an identity. It is. It literally is. Just like the fact that you're Melanie Mack and your identity is a gamer. Your identity is a goth chick. 
Matter of fact, your name's probably not even Melanie Mack, but that's your identity online. People can create their identities. It isn't some weird, off-world, alien thing. It happens every single day. I'm pretty sure your friend, Heel versus Babyface, is not named Heel versus Babyface. You hang out with people that don't even show their faces on camera and have avatars reflecting who they are. So you're sitting here getting mad at a community who wants to exist and, and feel liberated while you sit and align yourself with people who have created their own identity. Melanie Mack, make it make sense. What you watch, what you partake in, what that is not an identity. And the argument against that is always, oh. So what you watch, what you do is not, and what you partake in is not your identity. So you're not a gamer. You're not a goth girl. You're not a tattoo fan. You're not a Tomb Raider fan. So th those things don't, you are so stupid. Oh, but I was born this way. Oh, but I, for as long as I can remember, I've always been attracted to the same sex and this, that, and the other. And it doesn't make it natural. Doesn't matter. We are born into sin. This is a very common thing in the. So see, this is where, this is where you tell on yourself. This is the part I love. Let's, let's listen to a little bit more of this. And then I'm really going to crush crush this argument bible that we all know guess what we all have a natural urge to want to eat mm. a bunch of junk food every right. single day okay well, why do bible, most of our food. natural urges prefer junk food over health food mm. are we going to make that our whole identity when right. i identify as a ice cream absurdity ice i'm an the ice absurdity creamer. fallacy and you don't okay me and you don't accept me on the fact that i'm going to eat nothing but ice cream and get as big as a house mm. then you're a bigot Right. Absurdity argument. Okay. A lot to unpack there. Let me break this down for all of the Melanie Mack fans that might be here. She's arguing that it is sinful. Therefore, she is projecting her religion on everybody else. Whatever her personal feelings are about her religion, she's projecting that on everybody else. So it doesn't matter if you're Muslim, if you're Jewish, if you're non-denominational, if you're agnostic, if you're atheist, whatever you are, you have to listen to Melanie Mack because you are partaking in sin. And therefore, it's like eating junk food and getting fat. And you have to listen to her. Even if you don't follow her religion, it's sinful. And it's not natural while she's sitting here in front of a bunch of electronic equipment and toys with makeup, dyed hair, nails done, tattoos, jewelry, all this stuff. She's arguing about naturality and she's arguing about religion. So therefore, she wants to force us to obey her religion. She wants to force us to obey her ideals, which is the exact thing that she is arguing against in this video. And we're only three minutes and 30 seconds into it. And then she does the absurdity argument about identifying as fruit or whatever it is she said, ice cream, wh whatever it was she argued you. that that is an absurdity argument. And it, and it's when you have no argument to make, you say something like that because it is so outrageous. There's no rebuttal to it because it's an argument that you're making that's just too absurd to even consider. You know, just because you can do something doesn't make it good, doesn't make it healthy, or just because you have the desire. You mean like eating butter and getting dehydrated and ending up in the hospital? You mean that? You mean that, Melanie Mac? Okay. For something doesn't make it your entire identity. Mm. Because it's... Like you being a Christian is your entire identity. That's literally what it is. You've got a whole channel about reading Bible verses. You mentioned that you're a Christian in every fucking video that you make. It's pretty much your entire identity. And you use it as a shield for any kind of criticism you have uh, when it comes off saying awful, nasty things about people. Not that. This whole, all of these labels, oh, you know, I'm gay, I'm bi, I'm pan, I'm this, I'm that. No, you're not. Mm. You're a human being and you are partaking in the unnatural activities and you are putting your whole identity in that. And people. So we're human beings now. So now we can't even talk about like what we are in terms of genders. So there's no men or women. Oh, well, there's no men or women. We're all human beings, right? Since we're just throwing away gender and identity. I mean, are you allowed to keep it? Are, are people who are cisgender and and and, and follow binaries, are, are you allowed to keep it? And it's just queer people that can't have that? We're not allowed to have it? So we have to listen to you. So you're telling me that I'm that I'm not a gay person because you don't think I'm gay. Okay, cool, cool. Sounds like a lot of oppression conversation going on here, but we'll, we'll continue. People 
are groomed into it. Mm. And whether you're not groomed, whether you're groomed into it from society, from being abused, or mm. from peers, from school, mm. or even from Satan himself. Ooh. And you'll see that even look at in, in Genesis, look at the very first sin. So here we are reverting back to the Bible again, which this part of the video matters not to me. I don't follow her religious beliefs. So none of this matters. This is why this argument is so stupid. Just because you're a Christian doesn't mean you get to tell me and other people what we can do with our lives, right? But we're forced to celebrate Christmas every single year, whether we do or not, because we have to listen to Christmas music. We have to see Christmas things. We have to say Merry Christmas because if we don't, it's a war on Christmas. There is more force when it comes to Christmas than any other holiday in the world. But somehow y'all still feel like you have to impose on other people's personal lives because you're trying to atone for some sort of shit that you've done. And so it's all about projection at this point. You're trying to atone for your sins on other people. It's weird shit. When Eve ate of the apple, mm. how did Satan convince her to do that? He made her feel like it would be her benefit. You will be like God. Oh, this will be good for you. And some people like to think that, oh, wait, Satan just wants, I'm not following Satan if I'm doing what I want. Yes, you are. How do you know it's not Satan telling you to do this stuff? How do you know? I would love to hear the answer to that. How do you know it's not Satan getting in your ear and telling you to make hateful videos? Could it be? Are you sure it's God? I don't know. I'm a little skeptical, Melanie. Satan wants you to follow yourself and mm. to follow your own urges. He. I think God was the one that said there's free will. But okay, let's go on. Wants you to go against God's word, God's design. Mm. And so whenever you're doing, do what thou wilt, which is satanic. <sighs> whenever you're just, oh, I'm just doing my. Oh, so, so uh, free will is satanic now. Look, I don't make the rules. I'm just, I'm just listening to what Melanie Mack has to say. Um, which is probably the worst possible thing I could do with my life. Don't think I'm just living how I want to live. I'm living for me. You are following Satan. Mm. And that is exactly what's going on with this whole entire pride movement and oh. everything affiliated with that. We've seen it. The whole entire pride movement. So when people were telling me, oh, why are you, why are you harassing Melanie Mack? She is harassing every single gay person with this video. She's, she is calling gay people groomers. She's calling them abusers. She's saying that gay people are not real. She's saying that gay people were convinced to be gay by Satan. She's, she is saying a bunch of really harassing things about gay people. And for, and for a lot of her fans, that's just okay. That's okay. But imagine she was saying this about any other group, any other marginalized group. Imagine what the response to that would be. Just food for thought. Spiral out of control. It's not people just minding their own business and doing whatever behind closed doors. It is. Because we shouldn't have to do things behind closed doors. If I want to walk down the street holding my partner's hand, showing him affection, I should be allowed to do that without you imposing your personal religious beliefs onto me. Regardless of how you feel about me, you could fucking hate me. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Just like Melanie Mack has every right to walk down the street with a Bible in her hand and a t-shirt that says, I love Jesus every single day. And there's nothing that I should be able to do about that. And I wouldn't want to. I would not want to. I would say, Melanie Mack, as a Christian, do do you, do you go to church, go out and celebrate Christmas, go, go and do all those things. That is on you. Get married to a man, have a family, all that's on you. But she doesn't want gay people to do things in public, not even show affection to each other, hold each other's hands, have weddings in public, go to entertainment in public. She wants us to be invisible. And that's probably the most disrespectful thing about everything that she said in this video. And that's saying a lot. And although I don't approve of that, I think that's degeneracy, but regardless, I'm not, I'm not stopping anybody from, from doing what they- No, but you, but you want to, but you want to. You cannot do it because it's not legal, but you want to, Melanie. You want to do in that regard, but I will say, I will speak out on it and I will say it's wrong. I will say it's sin because that's- and that's absolutely, you're right. You can, you can say, I do not want to support Pride Month. 
You can say, I believe it's sin, but that's not what you're doing in this video. In this video, you are saying a lot of awful things about gay and trans people, a lot of awful things. So let's not pretend that that's the only thing you're saying in this video. That's what the Bible says. Doesn't matter. And I we will say that I don't, don't accept that, but hey, not everybody needs my approval and they're going to do what they want to do. God. Oh, awesome. Awesome. It's good to know that we don't need Melanie Max approval to walk around and be free people. We are not Melanie Max subjects for Queen Melanie Mac. Gave us free will, but we don't have to tolerate it in society at large. Oh, so, uh, so we're back to that again. Second ago, you're like, oh, you know, it's cool. It's cool. Well, first you were like, no, I don't want to see it. It shouldn't be allowed because it's from Satan. It's evil. Then you're like, oh, but no, it's cool because people can do it even if I don't support it. Now we're back to saying we shouldn't support it in society at large. It's like, it's, it's this weird rubber band thing because she's not good at arguing her point. She's not good at arguing her position. We're halfway through the video and she said a whole lot of bullshit, basically. And we most certainly don't have to celebrate it and we should not be celebrating it. And mm. I want to. So that's completely different from saying that you don't want to have anything to do with it. You're, you're saying no to Pride Month, but you're not saying no to Pride Month personally. You want Pride Month to go away completely. That's a different argument entirely. And that is taking away freedom of expression and freedom of speech. And the fact that you would say, um, well, I wouldn't say that you would say it. A lot of people that socialize with you believe in free speech and freedom of expression, but you are saying because the Bible says this, that people shouldn't be able to do this, which goes against the constitution of the United States, which sounds to me like you want a Christian nation. Um, it's, it's what you're arguing for here in a myopic way. To say this in a way that people don't just think I'm coming on here and I'm just, oh, you're just hating, you're just hating. And you're just condemning people because that's not the case. You can turn from it. So your solution is to become Christian. So you don't think it's hate because there your solution is become a Christian. You do realize that that is pressuring somebody to follow your religion and it falls under like an indoctrination or oppressive situation. You you do understand that. Right? Okay. You can turn to Jesus. And it's like, oh, well, it's, this is just my desires. I've always been born with these desires. I don't know. You can. Just like any of us can turn from being liars or any of us can turn from mm. adultery or any of us can turn from promiscuity. You can turn from homosexuality, transsexuality, all of that. Don't that is a very, very awful argument. I don't even know how to respond to that. Y'all on board with this? Are you on board with Melanie Mack telling people in general that in order for them to be valid, they have to become Christians? Are y'all on board with this? Really? Okay. Don't make sin your identity. Mm, now it's sin. Got it. You don't have to live that way. You can find Jesus, turn to Jesus. And get away from that. Mm. He will help you read your Bible every single day and you won't even want to sin. So no matter how difficult it may seem, just like it's difficult for a fat person to stop eating donuts, they can do it. So now we're comparing people's lives with someone that eats donuts. Wow. Make no mistake. And the Bible says this, that whenever you commit sexual sin, you are sinning against your own body. Mm. So if people want to say, oh, it's not hurting anybody. It is. Right, right, right. So you want to take away free will. You're basically arguing against free will. It sounds to me like you are you just want to be oppressive to people and you're trying to find excuses for it. Uh, also, you've talked about listening to certain online preachers or pastors or whatever that are feeding you with this information. You have literally been indoctrinated, Melanie Mack. You have been indoctrinated. You don't even know it. And you have. Um, which, by the way, you got a bunch of tattoos on your body. And I know you hate when people call you out on that, but it's just the reality of it. And um, that's something that the Bible definitely doesn't condone. But I guess you're immune to that for whatever reason. You're hurting yourself and you're hurting anybody else that you're participating with. Mm. And people don't like to hear this, but it is what it is. It doesn't matter if. Well, people don't like to hear it because some people are not Christians, Melanie, and they don't want to listen to that bullshit. And there are some people that are Christians that are not wackadoodle like you that don't want to hear that bullshit. But here we are right in the midst of this.
it, it, but that but you can be free from it so i'm not hopping on here to hate on everybody who's ever done this that or the other or oh let's pick this in and let's pick that in you can change it mm. you don't have to you are so ridiculously idiotic and ignorant it is so impressive how you even function on here and these kinds of videos are probably why you were banned from like twitch making this kind of stuff um just leave us the fuck alone seriously just leave us the fuck alone i don't want to be a christian i don't give a fuck about sin i don't give a fuck about any of this stuff melody be living like this this is this doesn't mean and whenever you make it your whole identity and if people are making their homosexual activity for example their entire identity then they feel personally attacked by me saying hey wait a minute the bible says that's a sin oh imagine that feeling personally attacked by somebody attacking you personally imagine that who would have thunk but christianity has overtaken so much of our society that it just seems like it's okay for somebody to get on here and start attacking people and telling them that I won't attack you if you just become a Christian. And, and that will lead you straight to hell. Then they feel personally attacked. No one like, cares. Oh, that's, my identity. that's who I am. I can't help it. But it's not true. We have hope in Jesus. Every single one of us have hope in Jesus. No matter what sin is, is holding you back. No matter what sin you are so engulfed in. We have hope in Jesus. Turn to Jesus. Read your Bible every single day and you will be amazed. No matter what kind of chokehold a sin has on you, you can overcome it. And that's what I want to encourage. To right, right. Because you care about gay people so much that you slur gay people out. You have slurred people out on Twitter. You have slurred people out on Twitch. You've slurred me personally. You have done all of these things, but you just care about us so much. Right, Melanie? Save me with that dumb shit. Okay? No, ma'am. To everybody, no matter whatever sin it is you're struggling with. And not only that, but people also will look into things like, oh, well, wait a minute, what about this sin or what about that sin? Where it's like, yeah, we shouldn't be sinning at all. But this mm. whole every sin is equal is not biblical either. Mm. Okay. So explain to me why you hang out with some of the people you hang out with and you condone their behavior, like quartering or heel versus baby face. Explain to me why that's cool with you since you're such a diehard Christian. I would love to hear your answer to that one. And the Bible is abundantly clear that those who participate in homosexual activities. No, it is not abundantly clear. It is not abundantly clear. That's cap. That is a lie. The passages that even mention anything related to that are super vague. The translations have been fucked up over the years. You are just weaponizing religion against queer people. Let's be very clear about what you're doing here. That that is an abomination and will not enter the kingdom of God. It doesn't matter though. Like, just like honestly. adultery, just like fornication, just like liars. Just like women who are divorced from their husbands. Is that in there? What about people that put tattoos on their body? Is there something in the Bible about that? I think there is. I think there is. Are you going to talk about that? Or the fact that you're almost 40 years old and you're not married and, you know, don't have any kids. You're going to bring that. Oh, we're going to ignore that. Okay. Cool. Live in these sins. So many people want to be like, oh, but you have tattoos. Oh, but you have tattoos. Mm -hmm. that's not the same thing. It, it doesn't matter if it's the same thing. It's still a sin, Melanie Mac. It's still a sin. This latter hierarchy of sin is a cope argument. It is a cope argument. If you're a true Christian, that wouldn't matter to you. It's a cope argument. It's not. So I'm not going to get here and make a whole entire video about tattoos. Be because it's a cope argument and you know you're wrong about it. Because that's a whole other discussion. But no, you could do it here. You could just say, I'm a hypocrite. You could say, I, I'm a sinner because I have tattoos all over my body. You could do that. But then that require you to have a little bit of, you'd have to humble yourself a little bit. But you're not doing that because this is about judging other people and projecting your insecurities and all of that stuff. It's, it's a whole bag of, of crazy nuts. That's a ceremonial law thing that doesn't apply to all of us today. But even hypothetically, even hypothetically, let's say that it did. I got my. So we are going to talk about it. Okay, let's go. My tattoos, they're done. You know, people will remove them. You can't. It's not that easy. You can, you can remove them. It is that easy. You can go and do tattoo removals. It's painful and you can still see scarring and you don't want the scarring because you're, because of vanity. You're partaking in vanity right now with your makeup, your hair, the way you look, you're partaking in that. You don't want the scars from removing your tattoos. And look, I don't personally give a fuck if you remove them at all. 
you can keep them if you want, but it's very hypocritical for you to do all the stuff you're doing while also having tattoos and then lying that you can't get them removed because you can. Remove a little bitty tattoo, but remove all sleep. You can't. This isn't a lifestyle. Yes, you scene. can. This isn't described as an abomination Doesn't matter. in the Bible. Jesus is going to return with a tattoo on his thigh. So whatever. Well, so that's a joke. That's humor, right? So it's funny for you, but for everybody else, it's like you're predators, you're groomers. Okay, cool. That's a whole different discussion. People want to nitpick and make that a gotcha. Oh, you are literally cherry picking Bible verses and then going after people and nitpicking their lives and everything they do because you don't want to see gay people during pride month. You don't want to see gay people in general, but I guess saying no to pride is the topic of the video. What if you eat pork, which I don't, but regardless, what if you eat pork? Because the old Levitical law, people don't understand that, but that is not a part of moral law. Okay. The Bible. So now, so now you're one of those people that's selecting which Bible verses are the most important to you personally. This is what I'm talking about. Christians who cherry pick, are using religion as a weapon. That's just the reality. Well, is it abundantly clear on abominable sins and on sins that people actively- Number one, that doesn't matter. Number two, not everybody's a Christian, so fuck off. Living in them will not inherit the kingdom of God. No one cares. So read your Bibles. Instead of just trying to go tit for tat, read your Bibles. Turn from sin. Mm. And- yeah, so that's that's the message that I wanted to share today. That's the message I felt on my heart, and I wanted to. So the message is: um, all gay people are abominations, and if you want to be a valid human being, you have to become a Christian. Okay, so uh, that seems really fucking unreasonable, but let's see where you go with this last minute. Share this with Pride Month right no. around the corner. I will not be celebrating it, and don't let anyone. But I can guarantee you, this won't be the last video you make about it. I'm going to have fun this Pride Month. I'm going to debunk the fuck out of every video that I can possibly squeeze in this month. Cribally you into celebrating it either. And I would encourage... You don't have to celebrate it. You don't have to do anything. We don't want you at the Pride events. We don't want you at our drag shows. We don't want you doing anything with us, Melanie Mag. You are not invited to the, the cookout. You are... You're not... You, we don't want you there. We weren't even asking you. No one in our community was asking you. You decided to do this upon your own free will. So we're good. You don't have to do it. Anybody who hasn't found Jesus Christ, anybody who isn't living according to the word of God, please seek Jesus. Read the Bible every single day. Where do I start? You can start at the beginning. Start at Genesis. Even if you just read one chapter a day, it's fellowship with God. And you'd be amazed mm. with what that will do for your life. Amazed. Even if you're reading something that doesn't apply to you in that specific moment, it's the act of fellowship with God. The word of God is a lot. Okay, we're going to end it there. Um, here's the reality. Since we're playing this game, I don't believe you're a Christian. I don't believe you're a Christian. I think you use religion as a weapon to go after people. You're clout chasing on social media. You're saying and doing a lot of things that seem oppressive. You want to force your religion on other people. And if they do not follow your religion, you're going to call them names. That's very clear in this video. That's what's happening here. Um, and like I said, you are someone that says it's unnatural, yet you're a divorced woman almost 40 years old, who is not married, does not have a family, does not have kids, but you have an issue with people adopting and fostering children. Just so we're very clear here. You also seem to have this hierarchy rule with sin so that the sins that you partake in are further down the ladder. So they're not as bad as the sins that everybody else is doing. So you can look down on people and throw stones from your glass house. It's very clear, Melody Mac, what you're doing here. And just like I promised you, I went through this whole video without calling her a homophobe. Because everything she did in this video is simply her telling on herself, being bigoted, having a double standard, full of hypocrisy, and trying to oppress people. And you don't require any other labels than that. It's very obvious that's what she's doing in this video. So guess what? You don't have to support Pride Month. You also do not have to be a jackass, and you don't have to oppress people and try to force people to be Christian. We don't want you at our events. You can stay your ass home.